Hi, my name is Patrick Hamilton, and I am an advisor here in the Honors College at Florida International University. And I would like to congratulate you on your admission to the Honors College. In this video, we will be discussing some of the important information that you're going to need to know as a transfer student who has just been admitted to the Honors College or as a current FIU student who has uh, just been admitted to the Honors College after already starting FIU. Some of the basics that you'll need to understand about the Honors College in order to make sure that you are enrolled in the correct courses. We're going to look at transfer students first and then we will talk about uh, current FIU students who were admitted uh, after their freshman year starting here at FIU. We'll also look at some of the course equivalencies of the classes that you will be taking uh, here um, in the Honors College. As a new transfer student, you are required to attend an orientation that is for your major so that you can be advised correctly for the courses for your uh, specific major. Now, as a transfer student, we would also strongly encourage you to attend one of the honors workshops. So in the summer, we do offer usually three workshops for you to go to. And this is important as a transfer student because the workshop will provide all of the information that we're covering here, but goes into more detail about uh, some of the other things, the life of an honors student, important information about research, internships, uh, social activities, study abroad, all of those types of things that you may be interested in that we're not going to cover in this video would be covered in one of the workshops. So as a transfer student, please uh, make sure that you attend one of those. Also, as a um, current FIU student who has just been admitted to the Honors College, we also would encourage you to attend one of those as well. Although you've already went to an orientation when you were admitted to FIU, you still need to um, go so that you can learn more about the Honors College through one of these workshops. Okay, so all Honors courses are interdisciplinary, meaning the, they have the prefix IDH, which stands for Interdisciplinary Honors. And the current way our courses are structured is that they are year-long courses that are divided into two semesters, a fall, spring. Um, some courses are offered in summer as summer A and summer B sessions. So you would do, for instance, part one of your honors course in the fall and then continue um, the second half of that class in the spring or summer A, summer B. As a transfer student or as a current FIU student that was just admitted to honors college, you will be completing two years of honors coursework. Essentially, you will be completing 12 credits of upper division coursework, which we're going to look at in more detail here in a minute. Uh, but before we do that, just quickly, honors advising. Uh, we are supplemental advisors. We are in addition to advising the advisor that you're assigned to for your major. You are always welcome to come to the Honors College if you have any questions about uh, the honors uh, course curriculum, honors courses, early assurance programs, the pre-law, or anything, uh, one of the pre-health programs, or internships, major selection, anything of that nature, you can come here and speak to us. Please, we advise you to make sure that you're meeting with your major advisor at least once a semester, as well as one of us here in the Honors College. We have three Honors Advisors, two advise STEM students, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, and one advisor is responsible for all non-STEM students. It's important that you enroll in an honors course the first semester you were admitted to the honors college. So we admit students for fall. So if you were a transfer student or if you're a uh, current FIU student that was just admitted, you will be starting in the fall in the honors college. So make sure that you enroll in an IDH honors course the first semester that you were admitted to honors college. Okay, so for transfer students, here's what the course progression would look like. So in order to fulfill those 12 upper division courses, which are three or 4,000 level classes, uh, you have basically three different options. One option is to take IDH 3034 and IDH 3035. Those are our three credit seminar courses. Um, those you can choose the topic of the course that you want to enroll in, because remember it will be year long, part one in the fall, part two in the spring, and they're each three credits, 3034 and 3035. Um, we currently have a, a very uh, large selection, a big variety of different topics for you to choose from. So you can for sure find something that interests you. So 
for instance, if you did a IDH 3034 in the fall and 3035 in the spring, you would have six of your 12 credits complete, and then you would need to earn six more credits in the second year to complete the 12 credits, which you could repeat IDH 3034 and 3035 again the second year, but a different topic than the one you did the first time, and you could earn all 12 credits um, year one and two by completing uh, the IDH 3034, 3035 seminar courses. Um, another option is ARCH, which is the Advanced Research and Creativity, and the course code for that is IDH4905. So you could complete that course in the fall and then part two in the spring for three credits or for zero credit. This class does have the option of enrolling for zero credit. And what ARCH is, it's very much similar to what an independent study would be. So any student that maybe wants to step outside of traditional coursework that will, let's say would be doing research of some type, whether it be in a lab under a mentor or not in a lab, or maybe it's a creative project that you're working on. Um, many different things can qualify potentially for ARCH for you to do for credit to earn those 12 upper division credits. And you would need to just come in and make sure that you speak with the coordinator for that class to get approval so that you can enroll in those courses and to also speak with uh, one of the honors advisors here. So that's another option to, towards earning those 12 credits is by completion of the, uh, the advanced research and creativity course. And the third option would be study abroad. So that's IDH 4007 and IDH 4008. So just like the ARCH course, the study abroad courses do require special uh, permission. So you would need to see an advisor uh, to learn more about that. Most of the study abroad trips occurred during the summer, which means in the spring of the year that you plan on going on the trip, you would enroll in IDH 4007. And then the summer that you actually um, go on the trip, it would be IDH 4008. So you would earn six credits through those two courses um, from study abroad towards the 12 credits that you need for the upper division. So the point is, as a transfer student, um, any of these three ways can be used to earn those 12 upper division credits that you uh, will need to complete. Uh, ARCH is also important for engineering students. So if you are an engineering student, uh, if you're a transfer, maybe a current FIU student, please make sure that you're seeing an honors advisor um, to discuss the, the ARCH option and how that fits in with uh, the, the other course requirements for your major. Okay, so between year one and two, you have those three options of earning those 12 credits. Okay, so the second group of student here is the current FIU student who may have started FIU in the freshman year and are now applying to be admitted to Honors College and have been admitted. Pretty much it's the same thing as what a transfer student would do. You still need those 12 upper division credits, which can be from the IDH 3034, 3035 seminars. It can be from the Advanced Research Creativity Arch course or through study abroad um, over years one and two. Okay, so here are some of the equivalencies. Um, as a current FIU student and as a or transfer student, you will not be doing any of the first year courses. So um, you don't need to worry about 1931, IDH 1001, or IDH 1002. But um, just so you know, IDH 3034 and 3035 uh, each provide a discipline global learning course. All FIU students must complete two global learning courses, one foundations global learning and one discipline global learning. And the honors upper division seminar courses, IDH 3034 and 3035, cover the discipline specific uh, global learning course. If you're coming in with an AA complete, a transfer student with an AA degree complete, or if you are a current FIU student who may have completed an AA degree, um, perhaps in high school, then both of your global learnings are complete from taking IDH 3034 and 3035 because of the AA degree. If you do not have the AA degree, at least the discipline global learning class will be covered by those upper division 3034, 3035, and you may be responsible for the foundations course. You would need to speak with an advisor to discuss your particular situation. Okay, so we've gone into detail here about the three ways to complete your 12 upper division credits through the three credit seminars, study abroad, or through the ARCH course. You can see that on this slide. So here are some current photos of study abroad, recent trips that students have gone on. So please, if you're interested in that, make sure that you meet with uh, one of the advisors here in the Honors College so that we can make sure that you're eligible to participate. 
Arch also. Here you can see some photos of some sample work that was done by students through the Arch courses. Again, that class also requires uh, permission, so you would need to come in and speak with us to see if you're eligible maybe to enroll in, in this to earn your 12 credits. Some of the privileges for honors, of course, the priority registration. Honor students are the first students to enroll every semester. You have a more personalized advising because you have not only your major advisor, but again, you have advisors here in the Honors College that can assist you with other types of uh, advising related matters. Scholarships that are exclusive to honor students, early assurance programs. A lot of our students are interested in professional programs later, such as uh, medical school or law school or those types of uh, things. And we do have uh, early assurance programs for those. Library privileges, internships, uh, career service opportunities. We have uh, a dedicated person for that here and of course research opportunities, plenty of those. Okay, so I would like to conclude this video um, by saying thank you and um, please, if you need more information, visit our website, honors.fiu.edu. We're located in DM 233 here on the Modesto Medi campus and our phone is 305-348-4100. That's the number you would call to schedule an advising appointment and you can always email our general email, which is honors at fiu.edu.